Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Rook MK1 or Rook Mark 1. This is going to be uh, the official release of the Rook. I'm not going to be changing any of the files for at least a year. So this is um, released, it's no longer beta. Um, I'm really happy with where it is. There's lots of mods for this printer, we'll go over a couple. and. Um, I'm very, very pleased to announce that uh, Fabrico is going to be selling Rook kits. Uh, they're based in the US. It's still a little ways out for the kits, but definitely join the Discord if you're interested in actually purchasing a Rook kit. If you don't like sourcing your own hardware and you want to just buy a kit with everything in it, Fabrico is going to have you covered. Um, so definitely join the Discord. There is a vendor section now and Fabrico is part of that. So that's awesome, I, I couldn't be happier about that and I hope more and more people are gonna build Rooks. So, what has changed in the Mark I MK1 release? So what I've done here is, uh, the biggest change is belted Z. You can kinda see the belted Z right here, single motor with just a nice belt in the back. It eliminates one of the NEMA Steppa motors which is really nice. The Z is much, much smoother now. Very, very happy with that. There is a new bed design. So it's a triangular design with the bearings at the rear only. And then this bed frame does have the zero mounts already in it. So you can run a glass bed like I'm doing right now with some actual um, adjustable spring pads here. You can run a V zero bed, a heated V zero bed if you want. You can heat the glass bed if you want lots of different options for you. It's just really nice to have the V0 bed holes already in the base mount for the bed. So that's awesome. There's already mods on uh, printables for a different style of bed with clamps in the back. If you're having trouble with the bearings in the back, there's already mods for that. So all the mods and that type of thing, I'm going to try and push people to put them on printables. And then what I'll do is I'll make a collection of all the Rook mods. This way you can actually see all of the different mods people have made. You can go into their mod page and actually look at pictures and find more information about the mod. It just makes a lot more sense if you're going to uh, search on mods and try to figure out what type of rook you want to build because this printer is very, very customizable. So a couple other things that I changed is I added a bunch of mounting points on this printer. So if we turn this just slightly here, you can see there are holes along all the side, top and bottom, as well as the rear. These are 25 millimeters apart for people to be able to mod this printer even more. You can put an extruder on the side now. You can put panels on the side if you want to stiffen the frame up even further. Lots and lots of customizer uh, options with those holes on the side there. So that's really great. You can't really tell here, but I've also put in slots in the top and bottoms just to do a little bit of relief when printing so that hopefully there's a little bit less warping. So I made a quick modification on that just to make it easier for people to print, hopefully. I have strengthened up the bottom frame. It's kind of all interconnected and it does incorporate um, mounting holes. So you can actually 3D print adapter plates for different boards. There's mounts for different boards on the Discord and I'm hoping there'll be more mounts on printables as well for different types of boards and stuff like that. So that's really kind of the MK1 revisions. It's not a huge change. Um, I've just kind of taken what was there and made it better with feedback that I've found on the Discord and from people. So like I say, Belted Z, it probably should have had Belted Z from the start. It's much simpler, much smoother and now you can scale the rook up and down. If you want a taller rook or a shorter rook, you can do that. So that's really great. Um, as I said, I'm gonna be pushing for anyone who's making mods to put them on printables. This is now on printables. So I will put a link in the description below where you can get this printer uh, files. And I have a zip file on there which has config files for like an SKR3, SKR Mini E3, version 3 and also the version 2 SKR Mini. So there's three printer configs already on there. Basically everything that was on the GitHub is now on printables. Uh, I like that a lot better and uh, like I say, 
then you can go to collections, my collection, and you can find all the mods for the printer as well. So that thing makes things a lot easier for people. I do want to highlight um, one of the members of the Rook community, uh, Gulsifer on Git Discord. He has made a really awesome tool head for the Rook called Rookery. So essentially what it does is it gets rid of my very inefficient kind of blower cooling fan on the back and it actually puts two fans on the tool head. Really, really cool design, very unique mounting solution. He has his own X carriage that this actually slides onto and is just held on with one bolt. It's really, really cool, very well done. It looks awesome, as you can tell, and it has really good part cooling right directly on the tool head. So I do really recommend people get the Rookery. Again, this mod is on printables. You can search Rookery or you can check out my collections. I will have a link for this below. This comes in 3010 size and 4010 size and there's already a mod for 4020 and I think uh, 5015 as well, which is just crazy. Really, really cool tool head. Very, very nice uh, way to install it. Be able to take your tool head off without taking the belts apart. So uh, shout out to Galsifer there for actually building that. And like I say, I will link all of that in the description. I also want to say a big thanks to Kangrog um, on the Discord. He actually beta tested this MK1 version. Uh, I couldn't really do it without his help. I didn't have time to kind of assemble this printer. Um, and we kind of went through a couple revisions and that type of thing. And he definitely helped me quite a bit in making sure that this MK1 release was really good. So again, very, very happy with... Uh, Fabricro coming on board and starting to make kits for this. Uh, like I say, it has to be tested a little bit first, but I think that that's uh, going to be really great for the community and they can build a really cool mini printer like this. This is a lot of people's first Core XY printer and their first DIY printer, and even sometimes their first printer altogether. There's definitely people on the Discord that don't even have a printer and they've made a Rook. Um, there's people on here on the Discord that have never built their own printer before, touch clipper or anything, and they built their own Rook. That's what this printer is really for. It's meant to people to get into the building hobby, meant people to get into Core XY very cheaply. As I say in the title of this video, this is your first Core XY printer, and I really do believe that. So, again, big thanks to Gulsifer and Kangrog on the Discord, and a huge thank you to all my Patreons as well as my subscribers. We're over 6,000 subscribers, was just incredible. I honestly can't believe it. Um, I think I was around 2,200 or something like that before The Rook came out. And honestly, The Rook has just exploded the YouTube channel quite a bit. And I can't wait to see more and more Rooks show up. We have 50 serial numbers already on Discord. So I've issued 50 50 serial numbers, which is insane. I can't believe how many rooks, and they're all sorts of different variations. Um, not one rook is, looks the same, which is really, really cool. These are very customizable, and you can definitely make the printer your own. So, Again, thanks everyone. Feel free to leave some comments below, and you, if you like this content, if you like building me building printers and my own custom designs, definitely subscribe, like, and share. I will leave my link for my Patreon down below, as well as the link to Discord. Thanks, everyone.